Hello and welcome to the Nexus. Welcome to the Park Rec Show. Today we're doing issue 57 of our Disney Dollhouse. Let's get going. Right, so in issue 57 we've got a ceiling, uh, a rug for the frozen room and a chair for the frozen room and as the same with most people ours is broken on the back leg as well which we'll, we'll glue later I don't know. Yeah it's worth <laughs> checking this issue because uh, a lot of people not just one or two there's quite a few people that have received this part broken and cracks and this part broken as well. We've yeah, been luckily very, very lucky. Our, ours isn't broken for the ceiling. No, but there has been a lot. Ours is not as bad as some other people, but yeah, it's not. Um, it's not like a normal thing, really. It shouldn't really be broken. I think a lot of people will get hit and miss with this one, but I don't know why a lot of them have been broken or this cracked. By the way, um, just a bit bizarre. But anyway, so we've got our rug for the frozen room, pretty much like the rest. We can have a look at this as Let's well. Have a There's look a nice at the chair carefully. A nice little pattern there on the back, which is quite nice. Yeah, again for the frozen room. And obviously that will just be fixed with some super glue. But uh, yeah, nice little pattern on the back there. We'll place that gently back in there. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's a nice, nice little rug there for the frozen room. So we're going to fit this. Now, we haven't got issue 56. So there was a little bit of a mess up with our news agent. He's put it on back order, uh, but we've also ordered it from the, from the website. From the website. So it's whatever one comes first and then it'll come. But there's no need to panic or anything like that. If it's the same for you, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic! Butch! Don't, don't panic! You're all right! Yes. Um, because you can actually fit both of these panels without having the either, either of them, if you know what I mean. But anyway, we're going to now fit this to the ceiling. Alice in Wonderland's room. Yeah, so we're going to do that now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue... Uh, actually, we're going to glue all the way around the top edge of this with some wood glue. And then it is going to go up like this with this line here. Now, obviously, issue 56, uh, it goes on like that, and we'll, we'll just test fit it at the minute. Issue 56 goes here, and it's the same process. But like you said, you don't really need the two of them together because you're just gluing them these these sections together. So, but anyway, really what we'll do glue the back and this side because yeah. We will glue the back side and this side, and then when we get the other one, we'll then glue it all together then. Um, but in this issue, it just tells you to glue around this side and place it in, and that's exactly what we're going to do, and then we'll have a look at the end result. Okay, so we've had to uh, modify it slightly. So it went down on all the pegs just here. It's uh, nice and, and down, it's down nice flush. And tight. It's really tight down, but, and there is a but, um, it, wouldn't it line would up. not line up with these two pegs just here. I'm going to show you. So it wouldn't line up for some reason. It just wouldn't line up with these two pegs. So what I've had to do is, I don't know if you can make that out, hang on. Is there no pegs there now? Hang on. There we go. As you can see, so I've had to cut them off. Um, now it doesn't it doesn't matter. It still no. holds really well. Hang on. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It holds really, really well. But if you do come across a similar uh, scenario, and you end up having to cut them off, keep your fingers out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Kirst. <laughs> <laughs> I cut it and cut straight into my hand. Anyway. 
again. <laughs> um, but the ceiling is is down. Obviously, we'll have a light that goes along here. Now, the next two issues. Uh, so that's issue fifty eight and fifty nine. Come with the lights. So once again, it's quite light on content. Uh, but it does sit flush. This it's all it's all. It's secure. It is really secure. It is a bit of a tight fit. But these these two pegs here were so way off. I don't know why. Yeah, I I don't know why neither. They were really far off. Because every other peg fit down on it. The brackets that were on it fitted fine. Yep. <laughs> but every other peg as well fitted it perfectly. These were were so far off. It's easier just to chop them off, and I just just chopped them off. In fact, you could probably chop them all off, and it would still sit fine because you're holding it down with glue. So. Uh, the pegs are really there for just a guide, just to make sure it sits in the right position. But uh, yeah, it's it's done. Uh, it's in. We can uh, have a little look inside the house. So I can. Uh, there we go. That looks really nice in there. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, that is it. Uh, for this issue, so let's have a look. Just uh, summarise on what we got and what we're going to be doing next week. So obviously we've got the chair and the the uh, the broken chair, the rug, the rug, and the, broken chair. and the broken chair. Like I said, that'll be fixed when it goes in the house. But just it's always worth checking out uh, everything that you that comes with it. They are a quick fix. Some of them are quicker than others, but I'm not entirely bothered by that to be fair it's just, a bit of plastic. it's just a bit of plastic that needs to be sorted but yeah that's what we got anyway coming in issue 58 like, like i said issue 58 and 59 are the lights so um here you go it says frozen hallway so it says Chand it says the uh base the of base chandelier. of chandelier so and if i um pull this up closer And there's no light. Eh? Hang on. You can probably just make out that there is a little wire going across there. Mm. Uh, so we start in the base of the chandelier anyway. We get uh, four plates and a sideboard for the plates to go on. But anyway, that is what we... Uh, what we get like i said next two issues quite light on content but we do start getting the uh the lights uh and i, th I think in issue 60 or it's it's issue 59 i believe we get the tester so we can actually test the lights working uh it's like a little circuit board with a battery pack on it and you'll be able to test all the lights are working and uh yeah should be all right <laughs> but anyway that is in i'm quite happy with that uh, I've been Kev. I've been Kirsty. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye.